Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Um, first off, I want to start off apologising for my voice, which I keep losing intermittently. Um, it's one of the reasons why I actually had to give up on process videos around, I think it was day six, um, because I didn't have a voice for a lot of December. <clears throat> So yeah, apologies if anyone was tuning in for the process videos. Um, yeah, they just it was just a no go. Life got so busy and just so hectic. Um, yeah, it was just no chance. So yeah, this is my completed December daily 2017. I will give you a quick flick through of days one to five, which they actually no one to six, which there are actually process videos for, and I'll leave links to the December Daily playlist in the description box below. But yeah, and then I'll give you a quick run through of the rest of the month. Okay, so first page is a cut file from the lily pad, which is One Little Bird, I believe. I think I left the link for that in the process video. Um, yeah, if anyone wants to know where any, where any of the things are from, um, I'll probably go through and tell you where a few things are from, but I'll try and leave links to all of the shops in the description box below. And if anyone's got any questions about anything, please do leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you and give you the links to where they're from. <clears throat> so yeah, cut file, backed onto vellum. Paper from Felicity Jane, printable calendar from Marie Lotomoser at Stitch in Time. I did recolour that one to grey because I think it came in like an aqua sort of colour that didn't go with my theme for this year. So, so yeah, recoloured that one grey. Uh, two by two page with just loads of little random bits in it. I love these little sequins. They were L Studio kit this year. Um, Multicoloured sequins and little tiny wood veneer stars and trees. Intentions page, which was a digital template from Paisley Press. And we have day one, Manchester Christmas Market. Day two, which was Christmas movies at the cinema. Um, I did actually go through and put some tags in, like Ali Edwards. Um, I did my own version of her question thing because nobody drinks hot drinks or anything, so everybody's drink would have been water. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. So I did tags for everybody, all in different coloured paper, and did them on the back. This one's mine. So day two, day three, about the Christmas tree, with the little lift up flap. That one. Day four, and another tag. This one's Jake's, my oldest son. He's not filled his in yet because he was only back for three days over Christmas and didn't get a chance to fill his in. So next time I see him, I'll be pestering him to fill that in. So yeah, this was our advent basket. And I've got the vellum page and day four is here. Day five and six, these are the last two process videos that I did. So that's onto there and that one. So day seven, this is a new one. I think I've shared the pictures, of, I think I might have shared pictures up to about day 11 on Instagram. I will be going on and putting all of the rest of them on there. So, so yeah, that's probably a good idea to check out that if you do want links to, links to places. That's at Beth2408, which I'll leave the link to that in the description box as well. So full page photo of the book that we were reading for Christmas. Day 8 was festive hat day at school and Tilda losing her first tooth. That's Tilda's tag just there. So yeah, Tilda, age six, currently into Christmas, cats, Elsie, that's her sister, and writing. Most wanted gift was prank stuff and big monster high doll, which she did actually get. Um, best memory of 2017 was going to Legoland. Day nine was the Christmas crop. Day 10 was our much anticipated trip to see Santa at Warwick Castle, which didn't quite turn out the way we were hoping. Um, it was the day, well, it was the weekend that we got a load of snow in the UK, which is very rare for December. It was very rare for us to get us that much snow anyway. But, but yeah, so we'd planned to go to Warwick Castle and see Santa. It had been planned for about two years because we didn't get to go last year either. And then they closed at the last minute and we couldn't see Santa again, so we had to go somewhere else, but we went to Stratford-upon-Avon um, and saw Santa in a little tiny shop uh, that was really, really good. It was a bit like Harry Potter type of thing, um, but it was actually next door to the house that Shakespeare was born and grew up in. So yeah, it was really interesting, really nice place to visit, but they're actually moving. I think they're, they're moving now, actually. So yeah, wouldn't be in the same place if anyone wants to go next year. But this is a one of the 4x8 digital templates from 
Paisley Press, which was their December You Are My Fave kit. Um, I did actually buy the whole lot, so I got the journal cards, the papers, the elements, and then the 4x8 and the 6x8 kit. But I've printed out the 4x8 page with the journaling and then put some star vellum either side of it so it gives a nice sort of see-through effect on the edges. And then I've just put, that's from Inner Creative Bubble as well, digital stamp that I've recolored the middle and 4x4 photograph just there. So this is the girls with Santa. And day 11 was saying about all the snow that we had. The 6x8 template from Paisley Press there. In a creative bubble, I put pom pom trim along there because it looks like snowballs. So, yeah, more snow. Day 12 is Christmas cards. These are the Christmas cards that I made and gave out to all my crop friends this year. Nobody else really gets handmade cards apart from them because we all make them and give them to each other. So that's lovely. These are the two cards that my girls made. Um, they did them at school for the Christmas card project. So they do this with finger painting and tissue paper collages and everything like that. And then they get sent away to a company called the Christmas Card Project, I think they are, and made into real Christmas cards that we can buy and then send out. Uh, I'm gonna put my hand over the back of that one because it's got their school names and their year groups and stuff like that on. Uh, this is Tilda in her school play this year. She was a little lamb. Um, first year that she's not been a shepherd or her sister hasn't been a shepherd and stuff like that or an innkeeper so we were quite excited to have a different costume to wear instead of a brown tunic basically so so yeah day 13 day 14 is around here this was our christmas wreath from this year nathan's tag stating that he's 17 currently into gaming most wanted gift was an xbox game and his best memory of 2017 was meeting his media group at college which is lovely um so yeah around here we've got a few of the christmas decorations around the house uh the nutcracker with the sleeps until christmas this is actually um a paint chip from the paint that we've used to paint the walls in the front room since we've decorated it um Day 15 was Snapchat selfies of the girls. And just another three by eight from a creative bubble. Day 16 is the letter from the elf when he arrived. Um, picture of the elf being an astronaut in his pajamas and the bedding that he bought on the first day of December, which the girls absolutely loved because it's got elves all over it. Day 17 was one of the Christmas tags that we used, um, stack of boxes, which was basically where all of our Christmas shopping came from this year. It was all ordered online. So yeah, the house was just full of cardboard boxes for most of December. Um, this is a photograph of our wrapping paper. This page is a copy of Barbara Pucinich's, um wrapping paper picture. I think it may have been 2015 or 2016. But um, yeah, I saw it on Pinterest and I absolutely love her stuff. So I'm going to leave a link to her Instagram and her blog, which is The Picnic Basket. So yeah, check her out. She's awesome. Day 18 was making cookies. Didn't quite turn out the way we wanted, but they were still quite good. So these are the ones that the girls decorated. Day 19 was about the cat. That sent her in an elf outfit. Um, she didn't really enjoy it, but <laughs> yeah, she was willing to wear it. This is my mum's tag. Um, she came up for Christmas, so I got her to fill one out as well, stating that she's 69, currently into Sunday dinners because she comes up here and has them with the family. Um, yeah, she wanted slippers for Christmas, and her best memory was Legoland as well because she came with us. Day 20. This is a Christmas TV movie bingo card that I found on Google Images. Um, I've watched loads of the Hallmark movies this year. I don't normally watch them, but for some reason I just became addicted to them this year, even though they're all the same. Um, selfie with happy on there, and then it's got a lift up flap on there that says let your heart be light, with a little story about how life isn't like a Hallmark TV movie, unfortunately. And this marked a year that I removed somebody from our lives who was not a good influence. Um, and yeah, so basically saying that sometimes you have to actually let people go instead of keeping them in your lives to get the happy ending. Day 21, Christmas jumper day at school. So yeah, they had Christmas jumpers both covered in sequins, which they both absolutely love. Day 22 was the food shopping. 
day 23, which was the Saturday, um, I managed to escape and nip off into Nottingham, which is where we are in the UK. Um, go to the Christmas market there, have a wander around getting last minute Christmas presents. Uh, this is Elsie's tag. Elsie, seven years old, currently into cheese, kittens and elves. Her <laughs> most wanted gift was a Hatchimal and her best memory was Legoland as well. So yeah, Legoland was popular this year. So yeah, that's just the Christmas market in Nottingham. This one's Christmas Eve. So this is my oldest son and his best friend who came home for Christmas. Um, so yeah, I had to get a picture of all five of them. The two little ones were so pleased to have them back, even if it was just for a couple of days, they absolutely adore them. So that's what the journaling's about just there. Um, this journaling continues for day 24 because this was the basket that the elf left with new pajamas and stuff like that and then these little project life cards here I don't know if you'll be able to see actually if I take them out you will so yeah these little cards were a treasure hunt that the girls did to find their last advent gift for day 24 and they absolutely loved that really really enjoyed it so we'll definitely be doing some more of that in the future um, so yeah, full page photograph there. Then this starts day 25. I might actually put like day 25 on there or maybe if I can find some big numbers or cut files, I might do that at some point. But actually, no, I probably will just leave it. So yeah, chipboard from the Paisley Pe Press, um, Ali Edwards kit on there saying Christmas morning. Look at the state of that room. Presents and wrapping paper everywhere. These were their Christmas stockings and Christmas Santa sacks. So yep, yeah, this was Christmas morning. Journaling on here is about the Christmas dinner that almost didn't happen because my oven broke. Um, it was 10 o'clock Christmas morning, just about to put the turkey in. Huge, massive, 50 pounds in money turkey. Um, yeah, and the oven just wouldn't work. It had been working beforehand, um, and all of a sudden the heating element just went, fused all the electric in the house and wouldn't come back on. So luckily I have awesome neighbours who allowed me to cook the turkey in their extra oven because they have a huge cooker. Um, so yeah, it ended up being about two hours late, but we got there in the end and it was actually really nice. So, so yeah, that was Christmas dinner. Then on Christmas day, well evening, we watched Bright on Netflix and that's it. So we've got the receipt for the turkey. The two little Christmas cards that the girls had from the elf, telling them that they had to be good and that they'd be getting treats and stuff. Then we have Tilda's little songbook from her Christmas play. And her wish list that she wrote and lost, so it never got sent to Santa, but I actually found it a couple of days ago, so thought I'd put it in there. Yeah, prank stuff, number one on her list. She's that child. <laughs> And then a Christmas card that Elsie made me. To mum, love Elsie. Hope you have a very merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. And that's it. So it's quite full. Don't think I could actually fit much more in there if I tried. So there we go. That's another year done. I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. Um, even though the cat scratched my album just here. We'll forgive her for that, I suppose. Um, but yeah, really happy with the way it's gone. Um, really happy that it's done as well so many times I start these projects and then they're left lingering on for months and months and then never actually get finished so yeah really glad to actually have it finished and put on the shelf with last year's so hope everyone did okay with theirs I'd love to see everybody else's so if you'd like to leave any links in the comments feel free and I would love to check them out so yep yeah, thanks for joining me um I will be back soon with another video about how I'm going to be doing project life for 2018 um I did actually do almost two years of project life within the space of about six weeks by doing it all hybrid and printing most of it out and just sticking it in pockets but I'm actually changing it up and doing six by eight project life this year so yeah I've got a couple of pages of that that are actually done like the introduction pages so it may come back and share those and give you a quick run through of them so yeah thanks for watching thanks for all the new subscribers in 2017 and actually all the subscribers in 2017 because I only started the, ch the channel in February. So, so yeah, I'll stop waffling now and say thank you again and see you soon. Bye.